It's home opener night for the Indiana Fever. This is video of former Iowa basketball star Caitlin Clark. You probably recognize her. I've heard of her. She was shooting around this morning ahead of tonight's game. The Indiana Fever take on the New York Liberty tonight at 6. Clark's debut game Tuesday night was the most watched wow. WNBA game in more than 20 years. More than 2 million viewers actually tuned in. And this morning, Clark talked about how her effect on the game has transitioned to the professional level. People still know who I am and are just so excited about our team and, you know, this summer. So I would say that's the biggest thing is, like, I didn't really know what to expect coming here, like how aware people would be or how many people would recognize me. But really, it hasn't changed at all from Iowa City. Like, you can tell just the excitement and the buzz around the city of, you know, for this team, for myself. Um, it really hasn't changed in any regard. So I think that's honestly been something that's been an adjustment, but it's also been super cool to see how invested people are in the Indiana you know, Fever. And KCRG TV 9's Scott Sable is joining us from Gamebridge Fieldhouse tonight, where the fever will tip off in a matter of hours. Yes, Scott, what is the environment like there? It's starting to get kind of crazy. It's going to be a sellout crowd tonight, sellout crowd tonight here in Indianapolis. And I found just a few 22 jerseys walking around. Go figure. We'll start with the Boyds from Michigan, right? You drove five hours to watch Caitlin play tonight? We did. We're excited to be here. What do you like about Caitlin that you would do that? And you actually got season tickets, I understand, so you're going to be making a lot of road trips. What do you like about Caitlin? Allie plays basketball, and it's just great for her to experience seeing other women play and really look up to them. You like this because you said before you didn't get to see a lot of women playing basketball on TV. No, I did not, and now I'm glad to come here and see a lot of players. What do you like about Caitlin? I love her personality and how like, it, she really tries and pushes herself. And you're only in the fifth grade. You've got some height. You could be the next Caitlin Clark. What do you think? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. And, of course, a lot of Hawkeye fans here tonight. Everywhere you go, and there's Caitlin, there's Hawkeye fans. And, sir, you made the trip. Uh, you were at the PGA Championships, we uh, you know, the practice rounds. And on the way yeah. back, you had to watch Caitlin. And we had our first chance to watch her in person. Wow. So we took, we took our opportunity to come here and see her play. We followed her, and our uh, family members down in the Iowa City area have been season ticket holders, and our two granddaughters have been to both Final Four, so we're making them jealous tonight because <laughs> they're back in Iowa. What do you like about Caitlin? Um, she's just an awesome individual. Um, her skill is just unreal, the things that she can do, and she's quite grounded with how she acts and what she does, and we love that. She's part of our family, too. All right, we have a professor from the University of Iowa, and you actually had Caitlin in your class? Yes, I did, about oh, four or five years ago. She's great. She's just all-around great individual, great student, and a wonderful basketball player. Did you give her an A? I don't know if I can tell you that legally. <laughs> I heard she's an incredible student. Yes, she yeah, she is. She's just a great all-around individual. Yeah. It's great for the state of Iowa, isn't it, and the University of Iowa? For the state of Iowa, Iowa, and for women in general. We're hoping this is a big movement and not just a moment. Did you see her play the other night? What did you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. thought great. she was great. Fantastic. Well, it was great to see her playing in the, in the WNBA. It's a new arena, and she's going to succeed. We talked about this, and we didn't like the officiating, right? Now, we never we never liked the officiating. It's, it's hard. The first two fouls, she shouldn't have been on the bench at the beginning of the game. Right, right. No, that, that was tough to take. We got another gal coming in here that wearing the 22 jersey. Your name? Annabelle. And where you're from? Rising Sun, Indiana. Indiana, and, and you're wearing a Hawkeye jersey. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, it's she's brought me to basketball, so really like I played in middle school but she really brought me to watch the women's game Wow has it improved your game watching someone like Caitlin yes it has because I make smarter moves rather than when I just shot it this is good for the state of Indiana right you got you got another superstar in your state absolutely she's number 22 as well <laughs> did, did you pick that because of Caitlin um it, in middle school it was because my mom's birthday is October 22nd and then Caitlin added to it well that's perfect all right we got to get a go Hawks right well we have some Hawkeye fans how about that Absolutely. all right go Hawks, go Hawks! and go Caitlin go Caitlin She's going to have a lot of fans in the stands tonight. This is going to be fun. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Scott. I love the fact that it's more than just an Iowa thing. Yes. Absolutely. And fans in Indiana all over the country. Thanks so much, Scott.